Okay, you can see our PS4 is in pieces here. And so the next thing we're going to do is get started on putting it back together. So there's multiple ways you can put this thing back together. I'm just going to go in the opposite order of what I did to take it apart. We're going to start with the disk drive. So we're going to put that in. The one thing you got to remember with the disk drive is it's got these uh, metal pieces right here and there's one here. And that has to go, I'm going to put it on here so then you guys can see where it goes. You got to match up all of the screws, all of the uh, screws and the pins and all of that stuff. I already almost did it wrong and I'm going to show you guys what I did wrong. As soon as I get it all the way on here, almost got it, now it's on. Okay, so what you got to be careful of is this metal piece right here. It needs to go on the outside of the plastic case right here. You can see when I go like this that it'd be easy to get it back inside there like that. That's not how it goes though. It needs to be on the outside and if that doesn't go all the way down on the outside then it's not going to go in. And the same with this piece right here. Um, that also has, there's another metal piece that has to go on the outside of the plastic. So you got to be careful of that when you're putting this thing together. Okay, then we're going to go and put this Phillips screw back in right here. Right there, and then we're going to put the T8s back in. There's one, two, three. Now, the next thing we're going to do is make sure we get our Wi-Fi antenna on here correctly. There's little locating pins right here. It makes it easy for you, and then we just put our screw in right there. And that will get our Wi-Fi antenna in there correctly. There we go. Okay, so then the Wi-Fi antenna is routed through this uh, little, little slot right there for the cable. So that's all in there correctly. Now what we're going to want to do next is the connector for the optical drive. And what I do is I just take my screwdriver and I get it back, um, back against this connector. And I put it in the slot and just push it in where it goes like that. So that's our optical drive and now we're going to turn it over. We're going to put our fan back in. Got to make sure this metal piece goes right on there the way it should. It just slips right over the plastic piece pretty easy. Then we're going to put a screw there and a screw here. These are easy because there's a little arrow right there that shows that, this, that a screw goes there. And this is going to be our Phillips screws. One and two. So if you want to replace the fan, that's done. The next thing is we're going to grab our metal piece with the heat sink on the back. We're going to put the back of it in just a little bit first and then we got to match it up. Just let it sit down on there like that. And then we've got our three Phillips number one screws. You could use a smaller screwdriver if you wanted to. Okay, now that's on. Now we got to make sure that our Wi-Fi antenna is going to be on there correctly. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's located in these little locating pins right here. We just wrap it around like that. And now we got it where it should be. So we're going to flip this around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the motherboard back in here. So what you want to do is check to make sure the surface of the APU right here is super clean. Now this one's got a little bit of dust on it so I'm just going to take a Q-tip, just give it a good wipe off. Okay, then we're going to get some of our thermal paste. 
and we just put enough on to cover it. it doesn't have to be too much I'll show you how much I usually put you can kind of see how much is on there now so that's how much we put on there for that now this one you just gotta point it this way slide it in the back first so you can slide you need to slide this whole area in first like that and then just lay the front right down on there okay and then while I'm here I just take this fan connector I line it up with my finger like that push it down it snaps down on there how it should so then we're ready for the top piece it just goes over like that it lays on there like that and then we're gonna put our APU clamp on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use electric screwdriver for most of it and then at the end I'm just gonna use I'm gonna use the other the just the manual screwdriver so you want to make sure those are good and tight like that and now I just put my hard drive in right now so this one just slides in there you can get your hard drive screw. It's important to put the screw in right after you put the hard drive in. Because if you don't, then you could move it and the hard drive could slide right out and fall and that can be a problem. So the next thing we're going to do is put our ribbon cable back in for the optical drive. So for this one, we're just going to slide it in. And with this, you just slide it in until you hear it click. I don't know if you could hear that, but it clicks when it's all the way in. Same with this one. And it's done. And then Wi-Fi antenna, we just line it up. Push it on with our finger, and it's there. This uh, connector for the optical drive, we line it up and push it in. And then the power supply goes back in. We just uh, take our cable, line it up with the connector, push it in, and we're good. Now, we got to make sure that these are lined up with this when we put it in because it's got the two long pins that go into the power supply so um, what I do is I put it over like this make sure kind of make sure the screw holes are semi lined up and then kind of wiggle it a little bit and then just push it down and just snaps into place like that now we got our three T8 power supply screws I'm gonna go in here And then our two really long Phillips screws go on each end of it. One right over here, and one right there. And we'll just tighten it down. You don't want those super tight, but you want them tight enough that they're not going to go anywhere. Okay, so now. As you can see, we got some dirt along here and along here. So what I do, I just take my brush, get that all cleaned out. Like that. Blow off the dust. Now what I do as well is I always um, go ahead and clean this off as well because it's super hard to get to when you have the console together. So. The eject button and power button, I clean both of those off really well and try and get all the grime out of that, uh, out of the little cracks there. So now this bottom cover, what you're going to want to do is put this, first of all, actually, let me show you this. So this right here, that metal piece is what transfers uh, the touch signal from here onto the board, the motherboard. Or I guess I should say the motherboard for the uh, optical drive, the daughter board. So, what you, you just want to make sure that metal piece isn't smashed or anything. And then you're, you're going to want to line up this front piece right here. And then it's just going to sit back down on there. You just give it a good push. And it's all the way down on there. Now we put our uh, T8 screws all back in here. We'll do that real quick. Obviously this will take much longer with a screwdriver. But that's fine if it's your first time doing it or you're not familiar with it too much, then 
you want to go slow and make sure you're doing it correctly. I usually actually put my screw tray right up on top here. That gives me a closer access to it. Sounds like someone is texting me, probably with a PS4 repair question. So I'm gonna step away for just a second. Okay, someone with an HDMI port question, of course. That's one of the most common repairs we do. Now with this, uh, you gotta make sure you don't put a screw right here because the screw goes in there once you put this top piece on. So I'll show you that in just a second here. So this one right here on the corner of where the hard drive is, um, that one is for after you get this on. Now this, as you saw, let me do that again. I forgot to show you how to do it. So what I do is I take this back part, I line it up, right there and then you can, you'll be able to feel it kind of slip in there how it should and the front will also be almost lined up so i push on this this corner first and then you got to make sure and push on this corner because if you don't it's not going to snap down all the way you can see that's how it snapped down all the way and that once it's snapped down all the way that ensures that the power button connector is right on top of the motherboard where it needs to connect so then you can actually turn it on if you get it all together and it doesn't turn on at all or even try to turn on then you need to check that first so the last, two, the last two screws on the top go from here and here. So this one in the corner is the one that I just showed you. You need to make sure and put it on after this piece is on. We get them quite often that have that screw put on before this goes on and then this piece sits right on top of that and makes kind of a funny hump in the console. Okay, then the hard drive cover. We just go and put the back, slide the back on first, push the front down, and just slide it on like that. And then all we've got are these four screws that pretty much just hold the case itself on. Um, so we're gonna put those in real quick. Now the stickers that go on these are just a matter of of look, um, if they come with the console when we get it here, then we do put them back on. And they will usually stick fairly well the first one or two times you have them off. So that'll stick on there okay. And then this one will stick on there okay. So they stick on okay, so you can reuse them if you keep them. You do, they're just there for looks. So that's all uh, those are there for. But those are some of the main tips and tricks. Um, so. You can see our consoles back together, should be good to go now. Okay guys, so that shows you some of the main tips and tricks there are to taking these things apart and putting them back together without screwing anything up. Um, if you get uh, caught somewhere and need to qu have a question about how to get it fixed, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, feel, also feel free to text us. Uh, we'll text you back as soon as we can. We do get a lot of texts, so I can't guarantee when it'll be, but we will text you back. You can also email us, repairs at tronicsfix.com. And if you screw something up when you're taking it apart and putting it back together, um, just let me know. You can send it in and we'll uh, take a look at it and fix what needs to be fixed for you. Thanks for watching and just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.